So here's where we're going to make our campsite for the night. And we've selected this area kind of up against the water. Now we could have gone a little bit deeper, but there's not too much to this anyway. We're kind of on our own little island out here, which is nice. But um, yeah, at this point, we're going to start to set up. So I'm going to make an 8 by 8 sort of snow structure here. And then using my two go systems reflect 100 tarp over the top and I'm going to dig up all this snow into as much of a bank as I can make and get down as low as I can and leave myself about a two foot bench to sleep on and then here we're going to open this all up for a tent site for Jason and then down in here we'll have a common fireplace area and I think we should have resources it's tough in this little grove here, but there's a ton of dead wood over there, which is great. So we should be pretty good. And actually, it's all up off of the ground, too, which is awesome. So that'll be dry, and we'll get a good fire going tonight. So we got a lot of work to do, and I'm going to get to it. Nice little uh, barrier wall. Cut down on some wind. And uh, what's your tent going to go right down in here or over here more? Thinking in here. Right in here. here? Yeah, cool. That would be nice. All right. And then uh, here, basically, I'm setting up my bench for my bed. A little hard to see with the shadows. Maybe if I come over this way. Yeah, it's still dappled. But I got a bench basically carved out here. And then I'm digging it down and building up my walls. And then I'll have a door in this area, and the wall will come back around. And I'm going to use that tree and this tree here for a ridge line to hold up my tarp. And I'll get this thing all buttoned up. Should be cozy. So I've been going at it for a little while now. Still have some fine tuning to go, but Jason's practically set up and I've pretty much established my snow shelter. So I started a door, which I may move depending on where we have our fire, because I do want to get some of the effect of the heat. And then I've benched out my sleeping area which looks pretty solid, nice and wide. Will fit my sleeping pad, I think, pretty well. And then a lower bench area, and I've sloped everything down this way. So the walls look pretty good. I need to knock that back down actually a little bit so that the tarp sits right. But other than that, it's time to get this thing going. All right, so done a bunch of work. I had to get to it, so I couldn't film the whole thing, but here I have my Two Go Systems Reflect 100 strung up basically between two trees and then kind of continuing to pile snow around the edges to make it sort of airtight.
tight and uh, a little bit tight on the inside there, but overall works pretty good. So at the end of the night, I'll dig this in just to seal it off a little more and climb on in and it's going to be my cozy home for the night. So I'm going to start setting up the bench, getting my mattress pad and sleeping bag out and uh, be prepared for later. So for my sleep system, I'm going to be using the 2GO Systems Trifecta. This is the version 3. And also inside, you'll see I have the Shift Quilt. So basically using these as a system to keep me warm tonight. And then inside this 2GO Systems Reflect 100 tarp that I've basically dug into a snow shelter. So anyway, inside here I also have a nice full-size mattress pad and I'm gonna sleep on an angle once I get in there and probably keep my head towards this side is what I'm thinking actually rather manage my head heat versus my feet heat and so I'll get my feet inside keep them nice and warm inside there and then uh, I'll be using this tonight so a little while to go here um, but we'll see how it goes tonight and hopefully be a nice warm sleep I don't know where do you want the fire right here right yeah. Okay. If we do it like right here, let's just dig that out. Do you agree? Yeah. And then uh, I'll make a bench here. So you'll have yours there. Fire will be right here. I'll get some water. Think you can reach it? Oh yeah, almost. Nice. That is the good stuff. Cold? <laughs> it is quite cold. <laughs> nice. Sweet. Let's see if it squeezes. Alright, hopefully this thing doesn't freeze up on us, but right. I guess we'll see. Should work at least a couple times, I would think. I don't think so. It's already frozen? No. <laughs> Is it? Maybe. Where was it? It was uh, in the outer pouch. So. Yep. It is frozen. <laughs> uh, it's kind of starting to go, maybe, right? It's also fucking cold water, too. Yeah. Maybe we should get the fire going and thaw it out. Is it gone? Maybe. No, not really. No. If anything, it's coming out of the top. No. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Plan B. Boil it. Boil it. I got the uh, Steri Pen. Yeah. You want to trust that? Basically, you f fill this thing. Yeah. Uh, and then you use the Steri Pen to uh, try and disinfect it. But I mean, we could do it in here first. Yeah. That way, that's the dirty thing, and try to sterilize it in there. Yeah. That way. Uh, how many ounces is that? Sixty-four. Yeah. yeah cool. It's not full though. I mean, I don't know. Or we could just boil it. You want to just boil it later? Yeah. Well, okay. Might as well boil it now. All right. So let's get some. Uh, you want to do it on your stove, or do you yeah. want to? So yeah. All right. Cool. Always a let's plan get, B. Let's get a pot going. Yeah. Cool. All yeah, right. I kind of knew that wouldn't work, but I uh, brought it anyway. Yeah, worth a try. Mm -hmm. You said it early on. 
It's not that much of a surprise. 